15 of the best Amazon stocking fillers. All these items are under £35 and $50, making them perfect buys for your fellow luxury lovers. Make sure you get the perfect stocking fillers by watching today's video. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love designer bags and luxury in general, welcome to the family. You are in the right place. Join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. So today, 15 stocking fillers. You know, we are coming up to the festive season. Christmas is just around the corner. And if you are looking to purchase some gifts for a fellow luxury lover, either as a stocking filler, maybe a few things for yourself as well, uh, these could be the perfect buys directly from Amazon. I will link to everything in the description box down below for you. Let's dive straight in with item number one. This is an item that I have myself. You can even, in fact, buy multiple of these. Um, I actually think these are the most expensive thing on the list. These currently retail at a around 35 pounds in the UK, around $50 in the US. And this is a fashion book. Um, so I have, these are very heavy, uh, so bear with me. Uh, this one is a Chanel catwalk book, and this one is a Dior catwalk book. Now, the reason that I've suggested this is not only are they great reads for fashion lovers, of course, um, but they also make incredible decor. So I really like putting mine on a coffee table or putting it on my shelves in my office. I just think they look really, really beautiful. So when you're having your morning coffee um, or if it, in the evening you're just chilling out, you can flick through your book and take some inspiration from the Chanel catwalk, the Dior catwalk or whichever designer book you decide to go for. But I am absolutely loving these. The second stocking filler, this one only costs a few pounds, a few dollars and I am absolutely obsessed with them, okay? They're these small handbag hooks. And uh, let me just show you this one close up. This is just, I just got a basic white one. And then you just take your hook out. You undo it like that. And then this goes on the table and then you have a hook here for your designer bags. Now I have seen many designer bags ruined uh, by being put down on floors, uh, especially if you are at work or you're out and about, you know, sometimes not appropriate to keep your bag on a table but that doesn't mean that your bag um, should go on the floor because often designer bags they're very expensive you don't want to ruin the bottom or the corners of the bag these for a few pounds a few dollars are life-changing honestly um i have got this one but i'm going to order quite a few more actually because i sometimes just keep them in different bags. And I definitely need a few more, especially for my Chanel bags. So if you know a designer bag lover, uh, these can be fantastic. They come in loads of different colors. Some of them have like glitter on, some of them have like little animals on. So yeah, maybe put a little bit of thought into that. But buying a set of handbag hooks is going to be a game changer. The next stocking filler is a fashion inspired poster. Um, so you have these beautiful posters. You can order them in different sizes uh, you've got like the Chanel perfume bottles the like Coco Chanel on there you've got designer bags on some of them I'm really really liking these so if you know someone who is really into their home their decor of their home this could be a really nice stocking filler they stocking filler number four is additional straps and chains for designer bags so again if you know someone who is a designer bag lover I swear by these, I have so many different chains. Um, if you know someone has just purchased a designer bag and they can swap the chain or attach different chains to that bag, um, you might want to look at this one. Um, if they are into iridescent, if they really like gold or silver, chunky chains, think about their style in general. Also get leather straps, you can get crossbody straps, shoulder straps, and this is going to enable, depending on which bag it is, you're going to be able to use the bag slightly differently. So I think these are fantastic stocking fillers for someone who maybe has a bag and they don't find the strap comfortable, or it's just a shoulder bag and they want to use it as a crossbody bag these could be really, really good. Item number five, I am obsessed with these right now. Handbag stands, okay? Super small investment. Um, I have one here. This is a gold one. You might be able to see the light, um, but you basically, so I've got my Chanel Business Affinity. This is the stand. Let me just show you up close. So all you do is simply undo this. You can then 
adjust the height of your stand, uh, tighten it up again, and then you can hook your designer bags onto this stand. This is a great way to actually use your designer bags more and get them out. Um, so even if they aren't out and about the house, you can have them displayed very beautifully. It doesn't work for all styles of designer bag, but I mean, my business affinity, I think it was kind of made for this stand. They also come in black and silver. This is a gold one. I also do have a black one, but I'm really liking the gold one. The next item that makes a great stocking filler is a silk twilly or scarf. Um, these are really nice. So twilly, uh, you wrap around the handles of a designer bag but you can also use them these small silk scarves um, around your neck you can tie them in a bow you can accessorize yeah any designer bag with them you don't have to wrap them around the handles you could just tie a really beautiful little bow on there i'm really liking some of the selections on amazon for these stocking filler number seven is a key charm or bag charm. I'm really liking some of these. Maybe put a bit of thought into who you are buying for. Do they like a particular animal, style, color? Item number eight is a budget planner. If you know that this person likes to spend their money on luxury items, then a budget planner can definitely go a long way because buying luxury is not cheap. I I'm really loving this Go Girl planner. Um, I think this is a great way to kind of manage finances. You could even treat yourself to this. I think I might have to get one actually. Um, but yeah, having a budget planner is super important uh, just to monitor uh, all the money that comes into your life and then how you are spending it as well. Because if you are saving up for luxury purchases like I do, it is good to have a budget in mind to see how far away you are from maybe achieving that bag or that luxury item. I think this is a fantastic stocking filler that can be used across all parts of your life, not just for luxury. Item number nine is a gratitude diary. Um, I think, especially if you, this person who you are potentially buying for, stocking filler, etc., cetera, um, if they like luxury, okay, it's very easy to get swept away in the craziness that is constantly purchasing stuff. Um, and I don't think that's healthy for anyone. Um, I also think just spending some time, especially in the morning on gratitude in general, being thankful for exactly where you are at right now and the blessings that you do have in your life. Um, I think a gratitude journal can be really beautiful. And I think it can also combat the constant want, um, I don't know, probably, a lot of people can empathize with this uh, when it comes to designer bags and luxury. There's kind of always a want. I want this, I want that, I love this bag, I love this bag. There's that many different colorways, styles, brands, that it can get a little bit overwhelming at times. So I think a gratitude diary could be the perfect antidote to that. The next item is some hardware protectors for your designer bags. Um, so if you are purchasing for someone else, you do need to buy these specifically for the designer bag, um, or if you're purchasing for yourself, I highly recommend these. Um, it's basically gonna stop the hardware on the bag from scratching. These are a non-negotiable, essential for me in general, and I think can make a fabulous gift. They are super, super cheap, okay? Uh, compared to a scratch on a piece of hardware on a designer bag, they're an absolute no-brainer. The next great stocking filler is some leather cleaner. Now investing in a really great leather cleanser and conditioner is amazing. So if you have uh, leather bags or the person you are purchasing for has some leather bags, getting them a really good conditioner is really gonna help the longevity of their leather pieces. And you don't just have to use this stuff on bags, uh, leather bags, you can also use them on things like shoes or any kind of leather clothing as well to keep them in tip top condition. The next item is a handbag hanger. So with this, you can put different bags. You could even put shoes in here. You could put like just bulkier items in general into this lovely hanger and you can see exactly what is inside. Um, this would be perfect for anyone that you know who is not very organized or, you know, kind of has bags flying around everywhere, doesn't need to be designer, just, you know, they just throw stuff in a wardrobe, in a closet, and maybe don't look after it as best as they could. Um, this could be a great way to kind of start organizing and cleansing a place and taking care of the bags and whatever products you decide to put in the hanger. Item number 13 is a set of dust bags. Um, dust bags, 
can go missing over time, especially if you purchase anything, a designer bag pre-loved or just bags in general. Protecting them from dust is essential and it's always great and handy to have spare dust bags, especially different sizes if you've got a larger bag. Um, this is obviously going to, again, increase the longevity, the life, the lifespan of a bag um, by putting it in a dust bag. So yeah, I think a set of dust bags is a fantastic gift that really isn't going to break the bank. The 14th stocking filler is probably one of my favorites actually. Um, this is a perfume dispenser. So you basically take some of your perfume that you really, really like, uh, put it into this dispenser, and then you can use it on the go. I really like them because they're super small, refillable, which is much better for the environment. And yeah, there's nothing better than when you are out and about and can have a spritz of your own perfume. Loving these. Um, I think as well, buy a set of these. They're super, super cheap. And then you can put different perfumes in them. Um, you could also keep them in different designer bags or just bags in general. I think these are really, really handy. And they're not gonna take up too much room because I have definitely wanted to take a perfume with me before. And then I actually take the, the bottle of perfume out, not a big one, but maybe like a 50 mil. They're very heavy, they're really not practical, they aren't designed to be put into a bag and then you just end up carrying this weight around for the sake of having a few squirts of perfume. So these for me are definitely one of the best stocking fillers you could buy. The final stocking filler is a small cosmetics pouch. Um, now I don't know about you, um, but I really like to carry some bits of makeup around with me sometimes, especially if I'm out for the day or if I'm at the office all day. Um, I like to be able to take a bit of powder with me, maybe a bit of lip gloss, something like that. And there's a big risk when carrying cosmetic items around like this, makeup, um, sanitizer, things like that, you know, very essential uh, given the times. And they can break open sometimes and completely ruin the lining of your bag. Um, so I think a small cosmetics pouch where you can put all your makeup, put that in your bag, and it's going to protect the lining of your bag, as well as keeping all your makeup safe and together. Let me know what you think to these 15 stocking fillers for luxury lovers. Let me know in the comments, have I missed something? Do, do you have any other idea suggestions that would be great as a stocking filler? I'd absolutely love to hear from you, so please do leave a comment. And as mentioned, I have linked to everything that I have just mentioned and a few other the recommendations in the description box down below. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next I will link my latest video release here for you and over here I have done a video featuring if I could only pick one item from each designer brand that I've purchased something from what item I would keep and why. Enjoy!